The people of Seattle and Pittsburgh, I have testified repeatedly, brutally, brutally, brutally tortured me. They've used poison, slaughtering head blows ever since I was a very small child, degrading operations involving spy cams and attack sex. They've raped and murdered people who tried to defend me or love me, as well as bystanders that help them illustrate the phantoms they've invented in the name of their psychology. At root of this, one of them claimed today as a defense that it was saleable as poetry. John Shulman was arrested on the $6 million museum heist after years and years of working with this guy, putting me places I never was doing things I had not done in a partnership with recording artist Peter Gabriel, who was helping Shulman rob priceless heirlooms from museums and sell them. They used a neuroplasm in my facial nerve. You can see I'm slightly disfigured from it. It's in their throttling. I hesitate to show it to you because they've been mimicking me as though I've spoken too much about it, but it's in their throttling. I was shot in my face just as surely as Serpico was. They used a nerve agent. They knew I didn't know it was in there. They knew it was causing me panicky experiences. And so they went after it to manipulate it, detonate it. And when they had me screaming in seizures, they said I was a threat, raped my loved one, chemically castrated me, violated Cersei Kennedy and killed her all because I admired the Kennedys. How does that grab you? Poetry, they say, is saleable in the matter. Well, John Shulman, this ringleader, was in a poetry outfit called Jabberwocky with Leslie Capps. The man he was arrested with was from Ella's school where she was a valedictorian. Shulman, Robert Fripp, Peter Gabriel and Leslie Katz all worked together on this mind-shattering theft of a legacy, torture of a poet. And Jabberwocky was very clearly what they had in mind when they ran a high wire act, a hot wire act through the neuroplasm in my head with a Senegalese maverick singing in tongues like German named Yusu Endor, which is a pun of Yusu the Endor will kill you if you try to get out of our puzzle palace. Yusu the sender of the ladders that they claim to some sort of weird Fibonacci sequence in them do, 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 do. could have protected the innocent women of Hiroshima once upon a time with the spirit of John Lennon. And they believe that people should buy this because of the poetry that is inherent in the sale. And I investigated them for setting up an AIDS testing operation from a time predating appearance of the virus. They poisoned me in the mouth right before they released the COVID bomb. Poetry sells this to who? To a bunch of hot wire lackluster fans of Peter Gabriel, who he has incited and is churning the waters of climate change to promote. The people who Peter Gabriel and Robert Fripp rushed to the defense of had made songs in the 70s about environmental modification for the purpose of burning Africa to a crisp, which is what's going on now. They were working with people who were working in the uh, high finance rackets and was able to channel 
John Shulman, slavery to people as high and mighty as Peter Gabriel, like Jaime Carbonell, and Shell, Carbon and Shell. Talk about an index formulation. Carbon and Shell and Todd Clark of Flame Over Africa were all people who Fripp had no time to check and balance because he was selling a leering, sniveling fabrication about me that he said was poetry. And the poetry is inescapable because it is in the art to slay the deaf white suck. That's what they're selling. One of the people who was making illegal tapes of me, completely unwarranted, which they falsely represented for all that they were worth, was from WQED. He had me at his house and he poured out a mountain of German swastikas and told me with a straight face that they were sacred African symbols. What gives? What gives is that the German Green Party who embossed my father's obituary with things about injecting parochial values, and I don't know who had in mind releasing these viruses to say it was necessary because of climate change, and they pushed climate change to make it look that way. You're supposed to believe them. You're supposed to believe this is poetry. They have people who call it building momentum to help. I mean, they have gays who are cheering the very people who launched the AIDS attack. Because they say it's poetry. Yada yada be that yada yada no Jabberwocky promoting the black man. What gives? Is that they are building an arc of colors. They're p- taking select objects and promoting them and, and eliminating sacrificially other select objects for the loser winner quorums. And they've been building this consciousness on their records since the 70s. They had it all planned. So it's a, it's a very scary situation. And um, it's engulfed all of us. It's a tragedy. But one of the gravest tragedies of all is the spectacle of their media mecca puppet show, dominating everything still. People care more about their favorite Beatles song than they care about the millions of grannies who were swept under the carpet and thrown into pits because there wasn't enough caretakers and funeral parlors to bury them properly. And, um, They're getting away with it because uh, cold-blooded fraud is called poetry. It's insane. I can hardly believe it.